All right, for ELA 8 this week, here's what you need to do. Um, so we're starting to read the diary of Anne Frank. Okay? Uh, Mrs. Wood did also put this little note in here. Okay? All You need to be completing all your assignments. Even if you miss the due date, there's no penalty for late work. So go back and do the assignments that you're missing. Um, she sent a message to everyone who owes assignments, a list of the things that you owe. So she's saying, please do this work. Okay? So the second thing we're, we're finally reading this week, in order to read the text and or listen to the audio, please complete the following directions. So you can read, you can listen, or you can listen and follow along with the text. So I'm going to show you how to get into those. Okay, They're in the files tab. So right now we're in the post tab. We need to go over to the files tab and there's two files. Okay, The first file is this PDF right here. Okay, And since we're going to be using this for a few weeks, it might be a good idea to download this file right to your computer. So you can just click these three dots right here and click download and it will download right into your downloads folder okay while we're at it we might as well download the other one that's this word file right here so let's let's download that one as well three dots click download so now i have those two files okay i'll click the little up arrow i can click show in folder and it'll show me here's my downloads folder and here are those two dots First one's a PDF, so let's open up the PDF. This is the full text. So if I go up here, I can zoom out to fit one full page, and I'll put one page right on my screen like that. All right, um, and this is the full text, okay, right here. It's a play, so it has different characters, and then some maybe some background ideas of how the person is speaking, and then what they say, okay. So it's kind of all conversation here it's a play it's not a um a book like you're used to okay so this week we're reading um three i believe scenes all from act one so the text is in here uh the second thing is the scene breakdown so if we open up this file this is really nice okay so here are two links to the audio file okay so since we're in full word, we need to hit the CTRL button, and it says it right there above my cursor. You're going to control, press the control button. My cursor is going to turn to a little finger pointer there, and now I click the link. Okay, It's going to ask you, do you want to open this link? And you say yes, it's trusted. Okay, And it's going to open a link to an a audio file. Okay. And this is part one. And if I go back here, I can see that act one, scene one is from this time to the seven minute, one second mark. Scene two is from seven minute, two seconds, all the way to 2141. And scene three, 2142 to 48. Now for this week, we're going to be doing all three of these scenes. So you just need to listen to the whole thing. It is 48 minutes of audio to listen to the whole thing. I kind of like listening to it because they have different voices for each of the characters. So it helps uh, you kind of distinguish between what people are, are saying. Um, so you would just open back up to um, that audio file that opened up, click play and listen. Now you may want to have both open so we can do the split screen thing. We can grab the top of the screen, bounce it over to the right and make half the screen. Okay. And then go into my downloads folder over here. I have the full text. And I can open that up, grab the top of the screen, and bounce it over to make it half screen. So now over here, I have the audio. I can click play. And as the audio plays, I can follow Diary along in my Tom. text on the left. Francis Goodrich, Albert Hackett. The scene remains the same throughout the play. Right here, it's reading. It is the top floor of a warehouse and office building in Amsterdam, Holland. So it goes right through it, and it follows right along. So it might be a good idea to listen to it and follow along in the text. Okay? And we're going to be using those files a lot, so yeah, I would just download them right to your computer. If you ever need them again, they're right up here in that files tab. All right? Um... So we are reading and listening to Act 1, Scenes 1 through 3. Okay? 
if you're going to read it, it's pages 714 all the way down to 761. This is the last page right here. It ends with Anne's voice. The next page says scene four. Okay, So all the way to 761. 714 to 761 if you're just going to read it. Okay, If you're going to listen to the audio, it's the full first MP3, all 48 minutes. Okay. Once you've finished reading and listening, you're going to answer the attached text-dependent questions in the assignment. Be sure to answer each question with three sentences. Be sure to click turn in when you are done. Okay, So I'm going to show you how to do that now. So from the assignments tab, I go up here to assignments. Okay. It says right here, Anne Frank text-dependent questions 1, 2, 3. And these are just those instructions that we already read about getting into the reading and listening and things like that. So down here, it's a form. So we're going to click that. Okay. And you have three questions. Okay. So the question is right here, and then you type your answer. Now, reminder, be sure to answer each question in the correct format. Three sentences, start with a focus statement, include your answer, then provide evidence. So in order to provide evidence, it might be useful to do the split screen again. So maybe we want to grab this and bounce that to the side to make half the screen. And then the other half, I want the actual text so that I can go back, find my evidence, and quote it right in my answer. I can have thing, two things open side by side right here. It's only three questions, but it should be three sentences per uh, question. And when you're done, make sure you click this submit button. Okay? And then you're done. Now, the other thing that Mrs. Wood says is, make this full screen so we can see it, remember to keep reading. Uh, be sure to keep your calendar up to date and write a summary on each Friday. You will need to do a Bookshare Flipgrid at the end of May. Resources are in the posts. Okay, so if we go scroll back a little bit up here, Right here on 5.5, five, she has the calendar, uh, the front of the calendar and the back of the calendar. Okay? And you can download those right there. Uh, right, if you have any questions, reach out to Mrs. Wood.